We just finished exploring Hot Springs National Park. It's the smallest national park in the NPS system. It's actually an urban park too. And the main part is located right here on Bathhouse Row where there are a number of bathhouses where people can go take baths from the hot springs that are captured from up on the mountain. And the visitor center is actually located right here in Ford Fordyce Bathhouse. Back in the day, doctors would actually give people prescriptions to go take baths for three weeks in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And this peaked in 1946. Back then, the bathhouses were actually segregated by gender, so we could take a tour of the old bathhouse. And first, you can see the women's bathhouse here. They had individual stalls with the tubs, big tubs with the attendants. Um, many times African Americans would fill with hot water straight from the springs. And then here you see the men's bathhouse, quite a bit bigger and more elegant, contrary, I think, to today's bathrooms. But those were the people they were targeting, the big businessmen with all the money. Um, but after you took your bath, you might go, if you were in for a specific ailment, go see the physician's room and they would do some specific water treatment on you, sit you in a tub, shoot you with hoses or whatever. Then you might go to the pack room where attendants would place up to four different uh, hot packs on different areas of your body. And after you'd had all that treatment, you would go to a room that's 10 degrees cooler and just let your whole body cool down for a while. And that's really the regimen of treatment that you would do for three weeks uh, at a time. Bathing, cooling, and then in your, the time off you'd go to the gym and hope that over that time you could get over your bunions or your lower back pain or whatever else you had that you wanted cured. Um, you could even take some time and go to the parlor for relaxing. Um, if you were more adventurous, you might even go outdoors. There was the big promenade where you could stroll, or even a little hiking through the trails on the mountainside uh, where all the rain would fall and then it would bubble up um, later in a couple thousand years as hot water. So we loved our time at Hot Springs, and it was a beautiful, quaint little town.